All right, hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to make your own please donate booth in Roblox Studio. The first thing you wanna do is to head over to the description and get the model that I linked down below. Now, once you have the model, we can finally start the tutorial. So now all we need to do is to now import this model into Roblox Studio. Now what I want you to do is to open toolbox and head over to my inventory. And then from my inventory, we we'll go to my models and you should see my customizable donation booth. You wanna bring that into your game. Okay, so now we have this beautiful booth in our game. So uh, you know, this is easy customizable. You can make your own sign. Literally all you have to do is just like copy and paste a bunch of stuff and just like, you can customize this booth however you want it. I just made it look like this cause I thought it was pretty cool. If you wanna set it up, what you have to do is literally just follow the instructions in the on the model. So like ungroup and lighting, you have to ungroup it in lighting. I don't know, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can see what I'm doing right now. And lastly, ungroup and workspace. Make sure that make sure that it's in the stands folder. And you can delete this uh this readme in the folder because you don't actually need that. Alright, after you put all those models into the right places, you're pretty much ready to go. You can literally just actually the only thing that you have to do after you've done all of that is you have to actually publish the game. So like by publishing the game, just you can just go to game settings and click on publish to Roblox. And once you publish the game, we now have to change some settings. So we go into game settings here. Uh we go into security and we have to allow HTTP requests allow studio access to api services so like you can like save data and allow third party sales so like people can actually like buy clothing items whatever the player is selling also if you want to add more stands to your um to your game what you can do you have to like duplicate like a stand in the stands folder but you have to make sure that in the stands folder and you have to name it a number like a corresponding number so like i'm gonna create a duplicate and i'm gonna, I'm gonna call this one number two because that's how like um the gate the script counts the um, boost if you don't do it like this it won't work so you have to make sure that's in the stands folder it has all the things that um stand one has like these values here uh the proximity sign description sign prices uh sign title and blue so if you want to make a, a different type of stand like you want to customize your stand you have to make sure that all these last all these ones at the bottom all these things that i've just selected are inside your stand everything else is just like uh just for the, the like aesthetics and stuff that, that, that's just it if you want to like customize your stand but if you're not trying to do none of that you can simply just delete it and work with this one with this very beautiful and handsome zero play. and yeah that's all it is for like customizing your stand if you want to customize it so now all we're gonna do it's just test it, customize it, do whatever you want. But now let me just show you a quick like a uh, role play. Let me just show you a quick demonstration of what this model can do. All right, so now I've spawned in. As you can see, the first thing you see is that I have a donated and I have a raised leaderboard right here. Not Zeroplex, that's me. And now if I turn around, I see a booth. This is currently no one stand, zero raised. There's an E to claim, please donate. Who's this handsome person right here? Hmm, I, 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 wonder, I wonder who this guy is. So now I can press E to claim. It says successfully claimed. And now you can see it's loading up all the clothing items that I have in my inventory. Okay, and it also shows your booth at the top. But like, I, I don't really like... Please don't. That's a little bit generic. I want to change this end. So now I can edit it. So now I'm going to make it say something like subscribe to Zeroplex. Which, which is something you should do. Let's press apply. And look, it says sub subscribe to Zeroplex. And now... If you click on one of these buttons, you can buy it. So this is my account. You can't just buy something that you already own. But yeah, as you can see, the pop-up worked. And when you edit your stand, there's like a refresh button. You can refresh, or like you can get all the clothing that they just made. You can also cancel, like you can delete your stand. You want to unclaim it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So um, yeah, if this video helped you make your please donate booth, then please like and subscribe. If it didn't help, then don't like and subscribe. Uh. Also something cool I can say is that you can use code ZEROPLIX in the Fortnite item shop. I don't really play Fortnite, but if you can use it, that would be really nice. Um, I'll make other tutorials as well. So if you enjoyed this one, then make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.